No, I'm just sitting there blabbing. We got a caller on hold. Ken, Ken, you out there? Hello? Ken. Yeah. What's going on, my man? How are you? Oh, I'm doing good. Speaking of food, my man Ken is calling in because I got an invite tomorrow for more food. <laughs> you ready, man? You oh. ready to eat like a champ tomorrow oh. on a healthier diet? Oh my goodness, man! This this is this is hard. You might as well just take the weekend off. <laughs> this is hard. I know. You know. Big shout out to my to my fitness guru, uh, Karen Gallagher. She's from uh, Toronto, Canada. She's on my website as well. So, fellas, if you get an opportunity to check out my website, go to hardhittingradio.com. I did get some positive feedback from some females as well. They're like, "Damn, can we get a body like that?" Click check on, her out. Yeah, check her out. You know, click on there, give her some information. But tomorrow, where are we at again? I know my son, he's excited too. <laughs> uh, we're actually going to be at Bombay Spice, which is on uh, Tatum and Shea, uh, starting at 11 a.m. I do uh, events with restaurants around town typically once a month. Uh, I have a uh, ton of food allergies myself. And it was interesting because I know you talk a lot about autism. Um, so I'm not sure if you're aware about the correlation between a gluten-free and casein-free diet and autism. There's a lot of listeners out there and a lot of followers on, on my uh, link as well that uh, have kids with autism <laughs> or know someone with autism. And there, there's so much uh, stuff and so much research and so many people saying uh, you can get this if your kid gets this shot, if your kid doesn't get this shot, you know, he, he can be autistic. So I'm always educating myself as well and then my followers who are definitely educating me more on autism as well. So big shout out to all my uh, autism followers. Um, yeah, I, you know, Mark, two weeks ago, I taught a two part series at my church, Highlands, uh, Highlands in Scottsdale. Uh, I work with a special needs ministry. Um, so typically what I'll do is give a two part presentation to parents um, with children that uh, have special needs. And, just kind of making them aware of the different diets that are out there and how it might be able to help them out. Um, going gluten-free and, and, and um, casein-free, which is the milk protein, has been shown uh, to uh, lessen the symptoms of autism in some children. Not everybody, uh, but it's a cleaner diet, and the way they process the peptides that are in the proteins, mm -hmm. uh, they've actually shown to calm them down a little bit, and some parents... Um, have noticed an incredible difference when their children are eating a, what they would consider a cleaner diet. Uh, so I'm working with my church on that, just giving parents hope, uh, resources, knowledge that's out there. I've actually been gluten-free myself for 17 years. Uh, I actually found out in college, which I'll tell you was pretty rough because uh, everything I ate between Pizza, wings, ramen noodles, pasta, and beer. You didn't say ramen noodles. Uh, you didn't say ramen noodles. <laughs> <laughs> you said the top ramen? <laughs> yeah. For champions in college. Yeah, I was on a college budget. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, so really what I've done in the last 17 years and now has kind of made my business is just, you know, there's a lot of resources out there now for, you know, just individuals that are developing food allergies, you know, not just not just special needs, but, you know, people are being diagnosed with food allergies every day, and they, they don't know where to turn because it's, you know, you're taking food away from people, and there's a huge emotional attachment with that. Like I said. So it's pretty exciting on, you know, where this is all going. Um, but to be honest with you, um, you know, my faith is so strong, and just being able to be blessed is being able to work with these families and, and, and helping them and helping their children um, you know, just giving them hope on something they can try. I mean, there's no proven research out there that shows putting your child on this type of diet is going to work every single time. But uh, it's one of those things where it's definitely worth a try. I agree 100%. Like I said, I'm excited. I looked at the uh, menu for the food yesterday. Uh, like I said, every time I look at a food menu, I seem to uh, gain a half a pound. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure after I eat this Miracle Mile pastrami sandwich, which is... I will say on air, once again, does not need any sauce. Neither does a hot dog. And my son chimed in as well, said neither does a... He always cuts his little I put nothing on the corned beef. It was just bread. And meat. so tomorrow, what, what are we eating tomorrow? Well, actually, it's Indian food. Um, there's, uh, it's a uh, all-you-can-eat buffet. It's actually sold out, to tell you the truth. There's uh, about 55 people coming. 
Uh, it's a structured menu. There's going to be four different appetizers that you can choose from, different types of wings, um, lentils, uh, and then the main dishes are going to be a chicken curry, a chicken marsala. There's going to be a vegetable uh, curry, vegetable masala, and the dessert. So uh, it's basically a, a huge tweet-up trying to bring awareness to the restaurants that there's a lot of people that um, – you know, have food allergies. We want to. We want a place to eat. So uh, it's going to be a fun event. Lots of people. Lots of networking. Um, good food. Uh, good entertainment. And uh, we always have some drawings at the end for some good, uh, good uh, prizes and stuff. So I got a couple sponsors for the event. So uh, awesome. looking forward for them to, you know, get some awareness out too. Because as you know, it's it's all about supporting others. So that's what's up, man. Glad you can come. Hey, man, I definitely appreciate the invite. I know you guys were full. Uh, you told me it was sold out. Uh, thank goodness, uh, you know, we had a good day of golf. I didn't I didn't crack on you guys' golf score. Uh, I'm not going to say what your golf score actually was. Um, I won't put that out there because I know our buddy is out there listening as well, my man Chris from Mississippi State. So that's your little shout-out right there, Chris. We won't talk about your score, and my son won't talk about it either, but I shot a measly 84. Could have been in the 70s. Uh, obviously, the competition wasn't that stiff. So, uh, <laughs> Man, you're harsh. <laughs> I just, Remember, I got those two-for-ones. So. Yeah, oh, that's right. You got the two-for-ones. Uh, we'll be hitting up the two-for-one golf. So, Chris, I'm sure he'll probably be tweeting me in about 0.5 seconds after that little uh, little uh, Mississippi State bow-wow-wow, yippee yo yippee yay comment. <laughs> but uh, like I said, I'm excited for the for the opportunity. Uh, I got my man Jay. He has a show as well. Um, that's that's filling in for Byron. And uh, you know, the more in, uh, information that you want to get out to him, like I said, he has his show as well. I'm sure he'll be uh, more than welcome to. Uh, we'll definitely you be in touch for sure. Yeah, he's he's on Twitter as well. So I, I'll give him your information. Like I said, I, I'm excited for tomorrow. My son is he? I don't know. He just he, he can eat anything. So you know, I, I think uh, he likes being. Uh, my son more for the food rather than <laughs> before uh, because of who his dad really is. But uh, he's, he's a great kid. and I'm sure he'll chime in here just in about a minute. He probably got a short joke as he always try to talk about my height. But uh, like I said, man, give everybody the information uh, where they can. Uh, you got any uh, a website or anything that people can go to? Yeah, my website is www.rockahealthylifestyle.com. So it's just all one word, rockahealthylifestyle.com. Got information about the consulting I do, the restaurant tours that I do, this, um, lots of resources to uh, different restaurants, uh, websites with recipes, different things you can try. So just trying to get the awareness out there. I appreciate you having me on, Mark, and I uh, just, man, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. All right, I appreciate it. Once again, that's my man Ken. He's also on Twitter as well. I know a lot of people out there uh, you know, with certain food allergies, so it's, it's great that what you're doing – because some people just can't, you know, you go to a restaurant, they say they can't have this, they can't have that. But I guess if they go to your events, they can have anything they want. Absolutely. That's pretty damn All good. All right, buddy. Have a good day, man. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. Thanks a lot. It's my man, Ken. All right. Bye-bye. I appreciate